video is going to be the Beyonce book tag, which was created by one of my besties here on YouTube, Brianna, and I will link her channel below so you guys can go check her out because she is amazing and you need to. Before we get on to anything else, I want to address the changes that you might notice right now. Um, I'm kind of going back to my original video filming set up that I had before where it was just the background and I was standing up. Because I'm kind of, I was kind of getting tired of sitting down because I just felt like it was boring and less energetic than I used to be and so I'm going back to this. But what I want to do is I want to film my Sweet Tina chat videos at my desk like um, my other videos are so we'll see what happens with that but this is going to stay for now on. I moved my at sign and all my stuff back behind here so yes. Number one is Halo, the song Halo. And uh, you're supposed to pick a book that inspired you. And for that, I picked The Lamp from the Warlock's Tomb by who? Do I even need to say? I talk about this all the time. John Belairs. Um, John Belairs is, has inspired me as an author. Um, his books inspired me to keep writing when I was all, you know, not thinking that I could do it when I was younger. So, um, this inspired me, yeah. Number two is Single, single Ladies. Um, a pick a book with a strong independent fem female or heroine. I picked The Last Princess by Galaxy Craze. Um, Princess Eliza is badass in that. Um, I have not really read many books with strong independent females um, because a lot of YA authors think that everybody just wants to read about Mary Sue's and girls who just can't do anything when that's just completely stupid. But that's one of them that I, um, I don't own it, which is dumb, but I'm going to go ahead and get a hold of that very, very soon. But yes, The Last Princess by Galaxy Quick. Three is Irreplaceable, the song Irreplaceable, and you're supposed to pick a book that cannot be replaced. And I picked The Spider Chronicles. Um, this is the first book in the series in the hardcover original edition. Um, this came out in 2003, and my one of my best friends got this for me for my birthday, and I had never heard about it, and it cannot be replaced because this is the thing that got me going with this series and just oh number four is diva a pick a book with a sassy character and i picked city of bones by cassandra clare for magnus bane do i even need to say anything else do i no i don't think i do i don't think i do five is upgrade you um pick a book that you think could have been better and i think i picked Followers by Anna Davies. This book was complete crap and it could have been way, 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 way better. I almost feel like rewriting it. It could have been better. Six is Crazy in Love. Pick a book that you can't help but love. And I had to pick again uh, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare because there are so, so many people that hate this series um, and hate this book. So I'm one of the ones that really, really like it. So. Seven is Sweet Dreams. Pick a book that you thought that you thought about a lot after you reading, after you read it. And I picked uh, Running with Scissors by Augustin Burroughs, which is a memoir. Um, this I could not get this book out of my fucking head for like three fucking weeks, and it's amazing. And if you have not read it, I would definitely recommend this. Number eight is Ego. Pick a book that you think didn't deserve the hype, and I can't just pick one. Okay, I have Divergent. I didn't think deserved the hype. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I don't think deserved the hype. And what else didn't deserve the hype? If I say didn't deserve the hype, because that book was just no. So yeah, those are three that I put in there. Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much, Brianna, for tagging me. Um, I am not going to tag anybody. Um, you can do this if you want to. And I will see you guys next time with another video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.